Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Days a Stranger. There's really only one last thing left to do in this Let's Play, and that's the interview between Simone Taylor and Ben Yahtzee Croshaw himself. That's right, for the special edition, he included an interview with himself. Uh, now, I'm not going to be able to do a very good impersonation, so I'm just going to default to my, pretty much my Trilby voice for this interview. That all said, let's go to the interview. Welcome back to the Simone Taylor interview. My next guest is the amateur game, de game designer Yotsi, who is joining me here in the Defoe Manor Lounge to talk about Five Days a Stranger. <coughs> Unfortunately, Yotsi couldn't be with us in person tonight, <coughs> but we have been able to channel his spirit through an adolescent border collie. Yotsi, welcome. Nice to be here. So, Five Days a Stranger. Winner of five AGS awards, nominated for DI DIY Games Game of the Year, where did it all begin? Well, Simone, the idea first came to me while playing a hentai game called Nocturnal Illusion. I found myself... Whoa, 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 slow down. Hentai game? Uh, yes. As in Japanese cartoon porn. Look, we can't control what inspiration strikes from. It was just as... Just the concept of isolation in a mysterious house that got me thinking if... Exactly how closely did you intend to follow your source material? Were you planning on any on some kind of gangbang scene at any point? I don't really think this is relevant. I was the only woman in this game. I will not be able to sleep at night until I learn the answer to this question. No, I wasn't planning a gangbang scene. Thank you, that's all I wanted to know. So you were playing a hentai game, and after you'd finished wanking... Look, I object to the style of questioning. You're getting fixated on the hentai game thing when it was one of several influences. Okay, so how much porn did you need before you could start on the game? That's it. This interview's over. Aren't you going to storm out? Uh, this is kind of embarrassing. I couldn't... I kind of couldn't be asked to make walking sprites for this dog. That's been your problem all over, hasn't it? You had these visions of games, then you just can't be asked to put in all the necessary effort in. I don't understand your attitude, Simone. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have even been in this game. Oh, well, I'm supposed to thank you for that, am I? You could have at least drawn us some damn food! I lost two stone while I was stuck in here. I explained all this, this all, I explained this in the commentary. God, you're pathetic. And it becomes even more pathetic when you realize that you're writing all of my dialogue and I'm still insulting you. Hey, yeah! I'm the omnipotent master of this realm. Shazam! You bastard! You turned me into an adolescent body collie, body collie as well! To be precise, a female adolescent border collie in heat. Let's shag. Did you remember to draw shagging dog sprites? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's probably not the best representation. Well, anyway. Um, so that was the interview with Yahtzee Kershaw. And a uh, little bit of an insight into, I guess, some of the inspiration. And he mentioned the commentary. I highly recommend, if you get this game, that you get the special edition and play through with the commentary on. However, I recommend only playing through it all with the commentary after you've played through all four games, as there may be spoilers, in fact, for future installments. Either way, thank you for tuning in to Let's Play Five Days a Stranger, and I will see you in Seven Days a Skeptic, the follow-up to Five Days a Stranger. Hope to see you then!